Hello everyone and welcome to AI Python. We are here with a new Python project on web scraping. In this video you are going to learn how to create a Python app that will fetch the latest news headlines from the internet and it will deliver it on the console window as well as in your inbox directly. Ok so let's get started with the code. I am really excited to share this project with you. Are you excited? If yes then let's continue. You can find the detailed content with the source code for this project on our website www.aipython.in as well as on our GitHub repository AI Python India. Thanks for subscribing this channel and in case if you are watching this channel for the first time then welcome to AI Python. If you find the content suitable, valuable and usable then please subscribe the channel. Give a thumbs up to the video. If you like the content, it definitely gives us a motivation to produce more informative content like this on a regular basis. If you are watching this channel on Facebook, then like AI Python's Facebook page from the link shown on your screen. And if you are watching it on YouTube, then hit a like button and do subscribe the channel. So I'm using Selenium for this project. Selenium is basically a web scrapping tool. It's also used for website testing. Uh, I'll, I'll provide the link for the Selenium uh, documentation in the description of this video. You can find it from there. It's a very uh, useful tool for web scrapping. There are other tools as well as in the market. I have imported Selenium here and so importing date time and the OS module. These are for timestamping purpose. As well as I'm importing this SMTP library. So SMTP library is basically uh, for sending your email from Python. And I'm also additionally uh, importing this email message. So email message basically will help us to compose message in an efficient way so that we can attach some of the files uh, while sending an email. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Now this is just to uh, find out the current day. So date .date today will give, returns me the, the current day. And further I have uh, formatted this into uh, td dot string format where I wanted to display it in specific format. You will see during execution. Okay. So till now this is clear. Now uh, this is a common standard practice for defining your web driver component. So I have created a web driver object and this is pretty much same for all the project. This is basic necessary requirement uh, setup you have to do every time in order to run this program or in order to run this kind of program. Okay alright. So in case if you have any doubt regarding the web driver component uh, configuration then write and write them in the comment section. I will help you out with your specific problem. Okay, so I'm just after after this I'm printing in the console that okay connecting to the authentic source news source please wait. So I'm choosing this website called news.google.com. So this I'm I'll be scrolling I'll not scrolling I'll be crawling this website to find out the latest news of that particular day. Okay, and this is a nice formatting to be printed on the console window. Once the program execute, you will see the nice representation using this print statement. This is just for the decoration purpose. We'll start with the web dev web driver. We have already created a web driver WD with the with the Chrome driver location. So so we are using this Chrome driver for this purpose. So w dot wd dot get new site. So I'm switching on to this site. I am activating this site. Basically I am starting this site. So w.get will w dot wd.get method will give you will open the website in Chrome browser. Because I am using Chrome uh, Selenium Chrome driver here. So you can use other driver also like for Firefox or Internet Explorer. So I prefer Chromium Chrome browser that's why I am using Chrome to do my project. Okay. So new site is open now and uh, this will wait wd implicitly wait means it will wait till all the web components gets loaded and the maximum wait time is defined by wait dot implicit i have defined one variable um, wait dot implicit which is 10 so this will wait maximum for a 10 second and if the web page gets loaded before 10 seconds it will move ahead it will proceed so it will not wait necessarily for 10 seconds if the component gets loaded web component gets loaded before 10 seconds it is good to go 
now so in the, in the this line lms i have created one variable which will be bas which basically stores all the tag name which has h3 all the h3 tags basically so this lm will store all the h3 tag i have seen the website of mm, news.google.com and found out that all the headings are basically tagged with h3 under the h3 tag tag so you have to also so keep in mind if you are trying to uh, make certain project or try to crawl some website you have to understand the website structure uh, you have to give some time to understand this uh, website structure you don't have to be much proficient on html side but at least yes you should know how to get the information and more important is how you should look through the selenium uh, website selenium documentation so that you'll understand the basic concept how to fetch the data through x x path how to fetch the data through id through name or through tag there are various method to fetch the data okay so this is not scope of this um, video so anyway um, we'll move ahead i am creating one news file dot txt although i have not created this file um, i'll tell you why so i have just given the name and location of this file the complete location with the dot uh, txt name news file dot txt so what it will do so if i so i have created one variable called file to write this variable will hold the open function so this will open a file within the file location with w plus mode if if you are not aware of the file handling in python uh, so w plus is basically it will create a file with the specified name if it is given and it will also put the curse it will overwrite the content if some content is there it will overwrite if the file is not there it will create the file and the cursor will start writing from the beginning of the file okay enough about this if you want to know about file handling do let me know in the comment section i'll make a video on how to uh, handle a file in python okay so going ahead um, now i am creating a for loop to read each content because this lms has stored all the h3 tag in it in itself so now i'm trying to read all the lms file using you all the lms file in, in using the for loop so i have created this for loop so for loop basically file to write with dot write so this will this file will be written with the write command and this is again a file handling topic and then this will write the, the it will start with this double Mm, arrow forward arrow sign and then the content followed by the content so lm.txt will extract the content from a web format to a text format which is human readable and it will append to the same line so similarly i'll keep on appending all the element till my elements gets exhausted in lms i hope you understand and then finally after writing all the files all the information uh, the news headlines i'll close the file okay now we have generated a file which contains the latest news headlines now we need to send this file via email using python okay so how can we do that so we need a username password and an email id obviously this is very important thing you should be having this one otherwise you can't proceed further so the best practice for getting username email user email or my or the password is get them from the environment variable which is stored which you can store manually on your system um you can also write your email directly here but i won't prefer to disclose your information on a program which is which you are putting on the internet so i would recommend you to get the data from the environment variable and os uh, module will give you a flexibility to collect the data from window environment in case if you are not familiar to how to get the data or email id or password from window environment variable then do let me know i'll create a video for that okay so till now it is clear now we have decided the username password and uh, the sender email my password and email now we we are going to compose a message so we can compose message using this command uh, i mean this uh, library email message so we are using email message here so i'll create a object of email message in as msg now we have to compose this email 
so composing always required from to and subject so we'll write from to and subject since this is dictionary so you can you can assign the value in this uh, in in the in the square bracket using um, variable name message square bracket uh, whatever field it is key actually you whatever value you assign wanted to assign okay so this is assigned this is going to be a little lengthy so please pay attention and bear with me because once you are you understand this concept you can implement in variety of project so if you if you're feeling bored then please pause this video take a deep breath grab a cup of coffee and then resume from here okay so so we have uh, con configure the message with uh, using from to and subject subject is basically the headline which a subject of the email we already have stored this file uh, that which contain the news right so now what will we will open this file because this is a necessary to load the file in python so and after that you can send it over email so we'll use this function with open we'll use this function called with open the file name and rb is read binary mode so we we are going to read the content of the file in binary format as f and then we'll write f dot read as n file so i'll store all the binary information of this file as f into n file okay now now this is what i'm going to send over email okay now we are setting the content now to set the content is basically the body you can also say it as a body part whatever is written if you want to specify like hello mr xyz this is to inform you that and all, all blah 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 whatever you want to write so for my purpose what i just wanted to convey that there is an attachment with this email please open the attachment and you will find the latest news headlines for today okay now again i am adding the attachment using message dot msg dot add underscore attachment and it requires certain argument so the first one is the file name which you want to attach then second is main type main type is what type of this file is it is a document file and then subtype what is the, the extension or you can just mention text and then file name if you want to provide the name of the file with which it is getting attached okay so this is all argument we'll need so we go ahead just recap once we have we have collected the email we have collected the latest news and store it in one file and then we have conf we have found the username and password from the environment variable and then we have configured a message without attachment till here uh, we have configured the message with whole attachment now everything is ready now we just need to log into the server and send email so to log into the server we have to use smtp lib smtp lib dot smtp in capital and provide your server address if you are not using gmail then you can google it out for your specific email configuration so this is basically the server location or the server name and this is the server port so for gmail there are two different ports which is tls and ssl so for both these uh, not ports so for both these technologies basically the encryption uh, there are different ports for tls here i'm using T tls in tls we use 587 as a port for ssl it is different you have to google it out to find the ssl port so we have configured a server with smtp and server name and port id and then server.ehlo ehlo is basically a handshaking or communication protocol which uh, initiate a server response ehlo stand for extended hello and then it will trigger server.start tls so it will sec secure the communication using tls mechanism and smtp li library provide this uh, with the help of start t start tls again ehlo is is all that is defined so this is a um, standard process communicate handshake secure service and then again handshake and then you log in to the server using your credential my email and my password which is stored here okay once it you are login just you have to use 
send server dot send underscore message and whatever message you have composed so we already have composed message here everything is ready so we'll just send it via server dot send underscore sms msg now once it is sent hopefully there should not be any error and uh, trust me this is not going to be very simple as there are a lot of security features enabled by your mail services so you have to go through little configuration and if you wanted to know all the settings or if you are sp struggling in your project like definitely once you start doing it you'll face a lot of problem so don't hesitate to contact me or uh, you can directly send an email to aipython.india at gmail.com or you can write them in the comment section I will definitely help you out on that and then finally you'll print a message that a copy of this news headline has been sent to your email successfully have a nice day and then you terminate the server by server.quit command so we'll see a quick demonstration of this one okay we'll just run this tool quickly it will it will fetch the data from the Google News it has automatically opened that uh, website and fetching all the data for today's headlines so it will say um, all that 38 headlines had been captured and a copy of this news headline has been sent to your email successfully so I have given an email ID where I want this message to be sent okay you got it so date is 31st March 2020 that is today and today's top news headlines so you can read it here in case you don't have time an email a email copy of the same a, a copy of the same uh, content has been emailed and we can check it through here okay we'll open email and we'll say see hello today top news headlines so we can see I got this one this was the message that we wanted and find attachment attached document for detailed news so I can open it and I can say yes I got it whenever I have time I can read it through and I enjoy again I would be saying uh, in case if you have any doubt um, uh, while understanding this code just comment in the comment section that this this is the portion you don't understand we will we are ready to help you out and I'm sure that you can do it with little tweaking and of course there would be certain challenges that will come across it's not so easy I have also worked it out in the in the background to to configure everything properly there would be some authentication required from the Google which will help you to secure your communication with Python to your um, Gmail server SMTP server um, so this kind of thing will happen so in case if you are facing any issues do let me know I'll definitely solve your problem if you have any feedback suggestion or comment do write them in the comment section I am personally reading all through comment and replying and giving a response to each comment if you like the video and wanted to help others then do share this video with them also if you want us to make videos on a specific topic then do let us know we will definitely try to create one for you I will share the code for this project on my website aipython.in very soon share this video to someone who need it thank you so much see you next time with more amazing python project till then keep learning and keep growing